What's going on, everybody? We're back with the probably the best location in Elden Ring. This has been a pretty early farm from the start. Uh, it's not the earliest farm, but uh, once you talk to the the guy that calls you Maidenless, you got to do his quest line. He'll offer you some bloody fingers, and then once you use them all, he'll give you this. Oh, is it not there? Pure Blood Knight Metal. This will bring you down to this location here. A metal Medallion, either or. Um, once you're down, this unlocks the underworld part here. It'll bring you... I want to say right here to the entrance. And you just have to... You could go left. There's a grace there. But you're going to want to follow the path all the way up here. Come up like so. Down through here is a late game um, farm. You could do it now, I guess, at really any level once you get to this grace here. But it'll just take you longer. Uh, if you have the end game sword for beating the final boss, you could just send the waves of the holy light and it'll just destroy all of the enemies down here, giving you thousands of runes in a matter of seconds. But uh, that's like a, a late end game rune farm, which would be useful before the DLC if you're not level like 150 or higher, which they say are the requirements for the current DLC coming. But, yeah, so these are the guys that we were talking about. But the main farm we're here for... Oh, rest at the gray so you can see it. So we're right here on the ledge. And right across from the ledge here is this giant chicken. I don't know why it's not letting me go into first person here. There we go. What we're going to want to do is hit him. Oh, missed him right there. Uh, once we get him to hit, he's going to run off. And once he does that, we get about 11,000 runes. Oh, hit the wrong button there. So that's base. And then every time we rest, he resets. We can hit him again. That's doing this. Try and saying I don't have arrows. We definitely do. That should have definitely hit him. Boom. Flies off to the edge. Get another 11,000. And if you wanted to get more, all right, we got to rest. What you want to do is either equip a talisman that gives you more runes. There's a couple of them in the game that you can get. We don't have any, unfortunately. But what we do have are the Gold Pickle Foul Foot, which boosts runes for a certain amount of time. And we also have the Silver one. And you can get a recipe to craft both of these. It's pretty easy to do. Another way to get runes, obviously, is by picking up these along the way. But these are mainly, like, good for very early on. Uh, once you get to, like... Like I said, once you get to around this point, you're not really going to want to use these. But they're nice to have. Um, these are the bloody fingers I was telling you guys about. If you do the quest line, I think you need to use five of them. Might be wrong. But they just bring you into another player's world. You don't have to win the fight. But if you do, hey, good for you. If you, I don't think you could just leave. I might be wrong about that too. 
But yeah, once you get this metal, like I said, it brings you down here. Now, if we do use a... We'll use a silver one first. Come on, did the right thing. There we go, direct hit. How much are we gonna get for the silver? Okay, I don't really see much of a boost. Maybe it gave us like an extra thousand? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Yeah, still... So I guess the silver's... Maybe got nerfed a little bit. But you can gain a bunch of runes in a matter of seconds here. If I can just get the... This takes like what? Five seconds to do? I'm a little disappointed by the silver. I wonder if we take the gold one, does it stack? They do stack, okay. So that's good to know, if you have a bunch of them. I don't know why every time I hit the wrong button. But alright, well, didn't think he was going to go that time. What are we going to get? 15,000. Alright, so if you use both of them, you get an extra 4,000. That's definitely worth it. That makes doing the dragon one, like... Can't just shoot like that? Okay. It's probably best to aim in anyways. So boom, we just made... 30,000 in like 10 seconds. That's really good. Versus like the 60,000 in 5 minutes you get for the... Uh, giant Dragon at Fort Pharaoh. Um, that's the best early one though. Because all you need is a maze, really. In time. It takes like five minutes, like I said. 90,000 if you use a golden foot. But this by far is the best. And then uh, if we run down here, see what these guys give us. About 3,000 each. As you can see, there's a bunch of them down here. So if you ever get bored of the chicken, you can just take these guys out too. But this is by far the best farming location in the game. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like, hit that sub button, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Till then, peace.